Hi, I'm Sonia, a respiratory physiotherapist. Using a spacer with your inhaler means more of the medicine gets down into your lungs and it's a great way to manage your symptoms. Getting the technique right is very important. It may take a few tries to feel comfortable using a spacer, but it does get easier with practice. I'm going to show you how to use a spacer using what's called a single breath and hold technique. If your doctor or nurse has suggested a different technique called tidal breathing or multiple breath, watch our other video. If you're helping a baby or a child use a spacer, watch our videos of children and spacers. To use your inhaler with a spacer using a single breath and hold technique, first hold your inhaler upright and take the cap off. Check there's nothing inside the mouthpiece. Shake it well. If your spacer has a valve, make sure the valve is facing upwards. Put your inhaler into the hole at the back of the spacer. If your spacer has a cap, take it off. Sit or stand up straight and slightly tilt your chin up as this helps the medicine reach your lungs. The next steps all happen smoothly in one action. Breathe out gently and slowly away from your inhaler and spacer until your lungs feel empty and you feel ready to breathe in. Put your lips around the mouthpiece of the spacer to make a tight seal. Press the canister on the inhaler once and breathe in slowly and steadily until your lungs feel full. Take the mouthpiece of the spacer out of your mouth and with your lips closed, hold your breath up to 10 seconds or for as long as you comfortably can. Then breathe out gently away from the spacer. Some small volume spacers make a whistling sound if you're breathing in too fast. If you're using a large volume spacer like this one, you can use the same breathing technique. Finally, if you've been prescribed a second puff with the spacer away from your mouth, wait 30 seconds to a minute and shake the inhaler again, then repeat the steps. When you finish, take the inhaler out of the spacer and replace the caps on both the inhaler and the spacer. If you've used an inhaler that contains steroids, rinse your mouth with water and spit it out to reduce any chance of side effects. Remember, you can get more tips on using your inhaler and spacer by watching our other videos.